Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? What's up, YouTube? I'm getting back with a new video. I'm due for this Friday. I have no fear, man. I probably knows, you know, all of them. Um, 56 at Bama to worry, you know. They arrested a the man with the murder of 54 year old Michelle Whitaker and how they had um, got him charged with the murder and uh, uh, the capital murder, how he's in jail for the crime. It's just that missing Russell County Roman body was found, um, has been located. Nearly 20 miles from where she was last seen by family members and friends. On um, back around November 10th, around 3:30 p.m., Russell County District Attorney Rick Cheney confirmed that the body has been identified as 54-year-old Michelle Whitaker Hall. The body was located off of um, Zion Hill Road in um uh, in um somewhere in uh High Choke um Had to Choke up um. Uh, Club Children be Alabama. The Russell County um sheriff's office say in a press conference on Friday morning that the suspect in the case is now facing a capital murder charge, among other charges. It's just that in the fifty eight year old Kenneth um Lohorn was arrested on November seventh for arson and theft from vehicle. However, more charges has been added to the Horn case. Fifty four year old. Michelle Whitaker Hall has last seen back around November 5th, leaving her home on Fast Lane on Seal around 9, 1, um, around 1 p.m. Hall was driving a black 2016 Chevy um, on Equinox. It said officials said that her vehicle was recovered, burned on on, on Carver Road on Seal. Her friends say that she wouldn't be in that area. And it, so, um, you know, it's just that they say that that's not even a character that, that she do not even, even know the road and she doesn't even know the area. So her car to be there was just out of the ordinary because she does not travel that way at all. You know, the woman said, you know, it said the Russell County Sheriff Office said that Lahorn on the, I said on the body shop in Fitted City. So it's just that they confirmed that the, the picture of evidence. That he um loaded Hall's vehicle to a trailer, drove the vehicle to a real area, and burned the vehicle. So I think Hall's body has not been recovered at the time of the, of the press conference. But a, a Russell County sheriff always believed that she was dead because Bill showed that she had loved left the body shop. Um, sheriff Health Taylor said the body was in the vehicle. And um, it's around on November 10th. Around 3.30 p.m., it was confirmed that her body was located off of Zion Hill Road in um in a high GQB, Alabama area. So, Longhorn is facing charges of uh, capital murder, kidnapping, and robbery. And um, so it's a shelf. Telling says that Longhorn was um you know is violent felon you know has violent past, which you know leads him believe it, that he is a I guess responsible for the crime. So it's just that they tend that Longhorn and Hall relationship is still being investigated. So it's still being held with a bond at the Russell County Jail. Her family said that they are hoping, uh, hoping someone come forward. I would hope, uh, I see with the information about what happened to her. Meanwhile, her job, um, her friend said that she is married with children and would have never left without letting someone know her location. So, it's, so they say that. She got a son and daughter, and and um, she has a, a husband, so they have been married. I get for twenty eight years. I do believe that the woman who did not want to be identified. So man, man, man. Okay, that dude get charged with murder, and how he's a, um, you know, a killer, man. So I guess he killed the woman, man. Outside the fence of the so they say that you know he had burned the car up, man. You know, I guess the body. I guess, you know, I say that, you know, was in the car and how he burned the body up, man. So, I believe he killed him. I feel like he killed her, you know, how he killed her and how, basically, I uh, basically, I think he's trying to, not, trying to, like, you know, hide the body in the car and, you know, how he burned the car up, man. So, I feel like, dude, um, Lohan is a violent fella, man, how he's a criminal. So, I guess he's doing, like, time by balls, you know, I guess, I don't know, I guess, you know, what he did to her, man. But I feel like, you know, this type of news is kind of sad to where, you know, one family member loses another family member to violence, man. How violence can we can wreak havoc on the family, man. But, but I, 
But I do feel like that, you know, the dude, um, Ken of Longhorn was a dude that had, you know, violent past, you know, that, you know, you know how he was like, you know, you know, trying like, you know, I used to try and get rid of her, man. I don't know, I guess he's trying to get rid of her and how things, I don't know if I things turn bad, man, but for that day, you know, it's a type of, um, a photo of the car, you know, her car was, you know, at the, at the body shop. And so I think that, you know, I think. But I think that she was driving a Tire 16, um, um, hold on, let me, um, yeah, a, um, a Chevy, um, Inconauts car, and I had the whole car was located off of the, um, street that, that she found, you know, murdering in, but for that day, you know, the car was found out there, and how they found, you know, some evidence that is including that he got involved in the death, and but for that day, you know, it's a thing to worry, you know, she had lost her life, man, to a violent dude, you know, a violent piece of shit ass dude. They got, you know, mental issues, man, to where they he would crash and kill somebody, man. But I feel like he's a, a crash dummy that killed a female, man. So I guess they, you know, he, um, I don't know, I guess he'd have been Jeff, um, probably, I think, many times in the house. He's a dude that got a lot of issues, man. And, but I feel like he's a dude that's in jail, so he's in jail and not getting a bond. So I guess they, you know, I don't know, I guess they don't give him a bun because he killed somebody, man. And so he's a killer, man, how he had killed a female by her, trying to kill her and trying to hide her body in the car, man. But it's a thing to worry, you know, it's a thing to worry, you know, it's a homicide that took place. Um, how he be probably, I say, investigated, man, but, but I'm glad that, you know, they finally do, you know, uh, yeah, but, but I'm glad they had found him, you know, and, you know, they got him arrested for the crime. So he's, uh, you know, doing a lot of time behind bars. So he's in jail. I see the crime and how he's never, might not get out, man. Because, you know, I don't know, I guess that, you know, he's a convicted fella, man, a criminal, someone that hurt, you know, or trying to take a life. But so it's that thing to hear about, you know, a family member losing, you know, a mother, man, a sister, man, an auntie, to, like, you know, violence going on. I ain't thinking really can destroy a family is violence, how violence can really can wreak havoc on the family, you know, someone being dead, but, you know, it's a thing to worry, you know, it's a sad, uh, uh, you know, uh, I say this sad tragedy event that happened to what they do on the screen is a piece of shit, old ass dude that got caught, man, murdering, you know, a, you know, a female, man, a woman, so, but, so, I pass out P2 on Chill, Whitaker, so, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to Peace. I'm out of ticket. Peace.